Hi guys, so it's Maybelline's Lifter Gloss Time. Um, I've been wanting to try this out for quite a while now. Finally gave in, got it in this set, which you can get from their official online stores. They have two. The shades are Stone and Petal. I think Stone is one of their best-seller shades along with Silk. But I don't have that because I wanted to try them out first instead of completing the set yet again. Um, yeah, because I already have a lot of these hybrid glosses. Now this lip gloss is basically marketed as a lip gloss. Except that they have hyaluronic acid, so it's supposed to take care of your lips while giving them volume and kind of boosting up their appearance. So this has actually been trending since I don't know when, but for a while now. And they finally reached the Philippines last year. So the set came with this really cute pouch that I like. It's very straightforward and just a minimalist branding of Maybelline. And yeah, let's try stone first because it looks lighter on the tube. Now, packaging-wise, they're quite similar to the cushion tints, see? Except that it's a different um, cap and there's the engraved lifter gloss. Well, here it's just a matte. Couldn't they have done like cushion here also? So they know, so they match. But yeah, they didn't. But I like how this looks. It's really nice nude kind of theme. So yeah, this is a perfect time to try them out actually because I've been doing this lip swatching since this morning and my lips are feeling parched. So let's see if this will help out. So this is still sealed. Let's open it up. Here is stone. So wow. Look at that. Can you see how big the applicator is? It smells similar to the other Maybelline stuff. It's like an artificial chocolate shade. Kind of like a lighter version of the scent of the Superstay um, inks. Hmm. I think I'll I removed way too much from the applicator. So do you think? It did plump up my lips, right? Just enough, I guess. It's quite sticky. Not super, but you know. There's a bit of stickiness to it. There's weight. You can feel it definitely on. But I'm liking this shade. No wonder it's one of their best sellers. The scent is, yeah, like classic Maybelline. I was surprised by how big it is. Kind of like this, it's like really big. Except this one you can use on the eyes, lips, cheeks. And this one, it's basically a gloss. This one moisturizing. Like, it alleviated a bit of the dryness that my lips are feeling. So yeah, this is stone. Next up is petal. So this is a more rosy pink kind of sheet. So well the other one, Stone, has that nude kind of vibe. This one is like full on rosy. Still the same chocolatey shape. Uh, chocolate scent. Same texture, just a different color. 
kind of feels moisturizing on. I guess hyaluronic acid helps. Up close, you can see that it kind of filled up my lip lines. So yeah, this has been... This has been Petal. First impressions, I'm really liking uh, the lifter gloss, guys. I think that if you want to try an affordable lip gloss that makes your lips look so plump and juicy in shades that are not so out there, like they just, they're just my lips but better kind of shades, you can't go wrong with the lifter gloss. No wonder it's viral, really. I understand the hype now. And it made my dry lips look quite full and plump. So yeah, first impressions, I think I may be tempted to get the other shades, but let's see. I still have a couple of the of similar lip products. Which, hmm, do you want me to do a like comparison video on them? I'll think about it for February. But yeah, thank you for watching. This has been Katsy for another Katsy Daily Lip. Still a part of January. And this has been the Daily Lifter Gloss in Stone and Petal. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And do let me know if you have any requests or any thoughts, comments reactions. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!